When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. This is our last morning at Lady Musgrave. We're leaving really, really soon. There's only one boat left in here with us. And I'm feeling a little bit sad. Last time we left here was two years ago and um, We went back thinking that we were just going to fix the boat a little bit and come back up that season and we ended up staying there two years. So I feel a little bit funny about going back that we're going to get stuck there and I know we won't but we're leaving somewhere so beautiful. Leaving Lady Musgrave. I'm a bit sick of the tummy. Leave paradise and back to reality for a little bit, and then back to paradise. Yeah. Yeah. It's temporary. So I've started the engine, and a part of me is hoping that the anchor's stuck <laughs> around the bummy. What was that? Did you see that? Splash. So I get to go down on my uh, tank and release the anchor. <laughs> but we'll see. Fingers crossed. Long day of sailing. A long three days of sailing. Nice. We're gonna try and sail all the way back to the Gold Coast without stopping. The weather looks really good, so we're gonna head out and uh, just keep going. And he's on. We headed out from Lady Musgrave Island and we realized that there was no wind. 
So we couldn't sail anywhere so Lee found a really cool reef not too far away and we decided to stop and have a fish. It was pretty good. It's running. Oh! Whatever that was, snapped off the. Ah! Oh. He bit through the line. It was a shark. Could have been a shark. Yeah. See how it went. And then. Oh. Line. That's it. Woo! Go, Bell Bell! Yeah, Bell Bell! Go, girl! It's a big one, Taz. Oh, we're rocking out of control. Oh my god! Just let it run. Ah. Oh my god! That's all right. Let it run. Let it run. Oh! Gentlemen, this is a big fish. That's a fish. Oh, it's a fish. Come on, fishy. What are you? Hey, that's all right. He's going to be a monster fish. Monster of the deep. It could be a mermaid. And you're going to get it? I'm going to loosen my drag. Just the littlest bit as I get it near the boat here. Because this is where fish are lost. And you want them to be able to run away quickly. They've got a little burst left. It's a big tempera. Give me the gap, please. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, my God. Holy shit! Video, Daddy. Oh, oh my god, that's massive! <sighs> this is one of the prized fish on the east coast of Australia. Known as the Red Emperor. Beautiful eating. Oh my goodness. And that is big as me. So beautiful. And they though. don't get much bigger than that. Should we throw that back? Whew. Should that we... is dinner. Should we throw it back? That's amazing. Oh. Look how beautiful it is. No, there'll be heaps of them. Wow, what an awesome little fishing spot. Fraser Island, we're probably 15 nautical miles off the coast and there is dolphins everywhere. I would say we're surrounded by at least a hundred or so dolphins. Really good. But tonight 
and we're just about to go around the tip of Fraser Island. The Sandy Cape. So once we get around there, we'll change direction, turn the motor off, and just cruise. preparing for our second night at sea. We've come 150 nautical miles babe. Close to 200. Close to 200 nautical miles. Beautiful night. We've got like 25 knots of wind up our bum at about 2 metres of swell that we didn't actually account for and didn't have a port to sneak into. Whoopsie. So we gather the safest thing to do that we had to see and we'll pop into Southport. So just to share a little scary moment from the helm, at about one o'clock in the morning, uh, we heard a little rumble. I wasn't aware, but about three to five seconds later, a massive foam ball uh, went straight under the boat, not over, thankfully, and the boat heeled over and it was a little bit scary. Probably the scariest moment we've had so far on Catalpa, but rogue waves do exist. So we're coming back into civilization and we're going to see people so we've all had to have a bit of a scrub clean up a little bit so we're not grotty yotties but we're just uh, heading towards Southport so we've done three big days and two nights of sailing 300 nautical miles the winds dropped off so we've put the motor on for this last bit this last leg and um to reality for a little short time. So we're just coming past South Stratbroke Island and we just spotted where Lee and I got married 13 years ago. Just over here on the beach. Aww. 13 years. Still love you baby. On your salty head. That's 13 years of my life. Oh. Here we are coming in the Southport Seaway on the Gold Coast. Great bar and most weather I'd say. It very rarely breaks. We've got the just turned out, running out. Things happen but very safe bar. Pretty deep. Great little surf spot over the side here, South Stradbroke Island. We made it, 300 nautical miles? Just over 300 nautical miles in uh, Straight sailing. Three days. Good Under job, day. baby. So, just leaving the Gold Coast Seaway as quick as possible because that was just insane in there. There was that many jet skis and power boats and sailboats, it was out of control. Uh, we anchored last night in Bums Bay and there was just boat after boat after boat so we're used to not being around that many boats so it was a little bit um, daunting to come back to. We're on our way back to Tweed Heads and I think it'll be probably a three hour sail. Just a wee little baby sail today. Should I 
Join us next time as we sail back to Tweed Heads, replace our propeller and start on our list of jobs to prepare Catalpa for our first ocean crossing. Thank you.